baby month-by-month development and growth after birth. One month old baby. What an amazing first month for you and baby. It's hard to believe how much your day-to-day has changed now that this beautiful and confusing person has entered the world and turned your life upside down. Your one month old baby is completely dependent on you and you're completely in love with her. You're probably feeling more confident in your mommy abilities than you were a month ago and with good reason. You're trusting your instincts, putting baby first and reading up on one month old baby development and parenting advice, which is proof enough that you're doing a great job. Pretty much all baby did in the first month was sleep, cry, eat and poop. But soon a little or make that a big personality will emerge. Case in point, you'll probably notice your one month old baby cooing and eyeing in the coming weeks. We know you're wondering how much should a one month old weigh? What should her length, also known as height, be? The average one month old baby weight is 9.2 pounds for girls and 9.9 pounds for boys, according to the World Health Organization. Two month old baby. At two months old, Baby's probably realizing the joys of interaction and started to cut back a bit on snoozing so much during the day, staying up to socialize. Now you're probably trying to figure out how to keep baby entertained and get stuff done around the house at the same time. This probably also means you're getting a little extra sleep at night. Isn't sleep amazing? Not there yet? Don't worry, you'll sleep again and it might be sooner than you think. We're not gonna lie, having a two month old baby can be kind of tough. While baby might be sleeping more, he might be crying more too, especially in the evenings. The good news is around six to eight weeks is when crying tends to peak in babies. And within the next month or two, you'll probably notice much less fussy time. Hang in there, ask for help when you need it, and talk to baby's pediatrician if the crying is worrying you. The average weight of a two month old baby is 11.3 pounds for girls and 12.3 pounds for boys. Length, also known as height, averages are 22 and a half inches for girls and 23 inches for boys, according to the World Health Organization. Three month old baby, what a charmer. By three months, baby is probably smiling plenty and she started to imitate what she hears and sees. So watch what you do, mama. You should chat with her throughout the day, describing what you're doing, how you're doing it and where you're going. This is how she'll eventually learn to talk. Just don't go too crazy though. Baby is a quick learner, but she needs you to keep things clear and simple and to recognize when she needs a break. Now your baby is becoming even more active and social at three months, isn't she? She's more in control of her body and more aware of people and interacting with them, which makes for lots of fun at playtime. The average weight of a three month old baby is 12.9 pounds for girls and 14.1 pounds for boys. Average length is 23 and a half inches for girls, 24 and a half inches for boys. Four month old baby. Life for a four month old baby is all about playtime. Baby's laughing and reaching and doing tons of gnawing. While you two play on the floor, baby is probably showing off some newfound athletic abilities, such as rolling and pushing up. Not getting yourself to the gym, mama? Baby is showing you how it's done, and he has the growth to show for it. Use him as your own little motivator and personal trainer in the making. Your four month old continues to grow and learn new skills. The average weight for a four month old baby is 14.2 pounds for girls, 15.4 pounds for boys. The average length, also known as height, is 24.4 inches for girls and 25.2 inches for boys. Five month old baby. Now your baby is five months old. Feeling a bit like a coach? You've been giving baby tons of encouragement over the past month and he's probably trying to sit up by himself. Give him the space to try on his own, but stay within arm's reach just in case he starts to topple. You're probably also inspiring his language by having conversations around the house. The ultimate reward for all your efforts will be when you will soon hear those wonderful words, mama and dada. Your busy five month old baby is working on a number of skills that'll really come in handy for moving around and getting things done. And he's working on getting bigger too. The average weight for a five month old baby is 15.2 pounds for girls, 16.6 pounds for boys. The average length, also known as height, is 25.2 inches for girls and 25.9 inches for boys. Six month old baby. Can you believe you're halfway through baby's first year? By six months, baby is probably pretty opinionated. She might scream when someone other than you holds her. Can you blame her? If a stranger tried to hug you, you'd give them a pack off buddy reaction too. Baby is also starting to develop food likes and dislikes as you introduce new flavors to her. You might notice your six month old having a growth spurt 
putting about a pound on this past month and more than half a pound next month. During growth spurts, babies tend to act a little differently than their norm, perhaps wanting to feed more often or being a teeny bit cranky. Luckily, a growth spurt usually only lasts a few days. Average weight of a six-month-old is 16.1 pounds for girls, 17 and a half pounds for boys. Average length, height, is 25.9 inches for girls and 26.6 inches for boys. Seven-month-old baby. As baby's prepping herself for crawling, you've got to get your home ready. We know you probably baby-proofed when baby first came home, but having a crawler changes everything. Get down on your hands and knees to see what hazards are around that you'll need to guard against. That includes anything baby could tumble over, bump into, climb, cut, or pinch herself on, and get tangled in. Also, make sure anything that could fall onto your child, a dresser, a bookshelf, the TV, is securely strapped into place. And be cautious to keep all choking hazards out of reach. That includes looking for small things that easily drop on the floor unnoticed, like coins. In the last three months, baby's probably grown about two inches and her head circumference may have grown about an inch. She's still developing her senses and skills that will lead to more independence. Average weight of a seven-month-old is 16.8 pounds for girls and 18.3 pounds for boys. Average length is 26.5 inches for girls and 27.2 inches for boys, according to the World Health Organization. Eight-month-old baby. Baby has become quite the observer. He's very aware of his surroundings and what's happening around him. If you have a tendency to lose your cool in high-pressure situations, you'll want to dial the emotions back. Baby's watching and learning. One thing that probably stresses out your eight-month-old baby is separating from you. If baby fusses when you leave him, try not to let it get to you. It's baby's way of telling you he misses you. And separation anxiety is actually an indicator of a good parent-child bond. Plus, baby's caregiver will be able to distract him and stop the crying pretty quickly after you leave. Baby keeps on growing and keeps on going. It's unbelievable how much your little one is moving these days, isn't it? The average weight for an eight-month-old baby is 17 and a half pounds for girls. Average eight-month-old weight is 19.0 pounds for boys. Average length is 27.1 inches for girls and 27.8 inches for boys, according to the World Health Organization. Nine-month-old baby. Look at all baby has achieved. Your nine-month-old baby is probably sitting with or without support, pulling up to standing, clapping her hands, and maybe even working on crawling and cruising. She also loves picking up food to feed herself using her index finger and thumb in the pincher grasp. With these abilities, life has really become an adventure for baby and you as you've been following her as she explores, pointing her towards new things to examine and touch. You're probably watching one resourceful baby as she uses furniture and other objects to support herself while moving around a room. As usual, keep your eyes on baby at all times because she's surprisingly fast and can easily take a tumble since she's still mastering her balance skills. Baby's not just developing quickly, she's growing by leaps and bounds. In fact, baby might just shoot up like crazy this month. It's common for babies to have a growth spurt around nine months. Weight for a nine month old baby is 18.1 pounds for girls and 19.6 pounds for boys. Average length is 27.6 inches for girls and 28.3 inches for boys, according to the World Health Organization. 10 month old baby. Life's pretty chaotic because you have a soon to be toddler moving around your home and because you're still probably having some late nights. But don't all those kisses and hugs you're getting from your 10 month old baby make it all worth it? You know, he's doing that because you do. You've set a great example by showing affection. Baby's getting bigger and smarter. Baby probably remembers where his favorite toys are and can understand when you give him simple instructions. He's very playful and may give you cues like clasping his hands together when he wants you to join in on the play. The average weight of a 10 month old baby is 18.7 pounds for girls and 20.2 pounds for boys. Average length is 28.1 inches for girls and 28.9 inches for boys. Now your baby may be growing about half an inch each month and gaining about three to five ounces per week. 11 month old baby. What a personality. Your 11 month old baby's character may have started to shine through and now you're probably seeing whether she tends to be more laid back or whether she's got some spunk. But don't assume too much. She's still developing and figuring out her likes and dislikes. Baby's learning, observing, and testing, and figuring out how to react to things she encounters. And really, baby's probably displayed a variety of temperaments, such as shyness and independence, at different points in her development, not to mention on any given day. Give it some time, and your baby's personality will continue to evolve. 
your 11 month old isn't getting longer anymore, she's getting taller as she stands herself up more and more. She's beginning to see the world from an upright position, which makes it way more interesting. And that will make baby even more excited about exploring it that way. Look out world. Average weight for an 11 month old baby is 19.2 pounds for girls and 20.8 pounds for boys. Average height, 28.7 inches for girls, 29.3 inches for boys. Baby's probably growing about a half inch taller each month and putting on three to five ounces per week. But as baby becomes more mobile and active, her rate of growth might begin to slow down a bit. So you might find your 11 month old baby is not gaining weight as quickly as she used to. 12 month old baby. Now your baby is one year old. Happy birthday, baby. You've now got a one year old on your hands. Baby's been on an amazing journey in her first year, hasn't she? And so have you. Watching baby advance from rolling to cruising, maybe even walking unsupported. If baby's not there yet, don't worry. Many toddlers start walking after their first birthday. She's probably pretty social now, waving hi and bye and likely using most one-year-old's favorite word, no, while shaking her head. Make way for toddlerhood. Your baby is probably still growing about half an inch each month and gaining three to five ounces per week. But look out, many babies go through a growth spurt right around 12 months. The average weight for a one-year-old baby is 21.9 pounds for girls and 21.3 pounds for boys. Average height, formerly known as length, is 29.1 inches for girls and 29.8 inches for boys. Baby's probably tripled her birth weight and is about 10 inches longer than she was at birth.